Workers at the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant have completed a major undertaking. They finished removing highly radioactive water from underground tunnels that connect to one of the facility's reactor buildings. Tokyo Electric Power Company officials say workers have removed about 4,500 tons of the water from the tunnels linked to the number two reactor building. The space under the building is filled with highly contaminated water that came into contact with melted nuclear fuel. There were concerns that the water could flow out to sea through the tunnels. Since November, workers have been filling in the tunnels with cement to remove the water. TEPCO officials say they hope to finish similar work at underground tunnels that connect to the plant's number three reactor in July. They estimate that more than 10,000 tons of the water has flowed into tunnels beneath both reactors. Officials with the utility in southwestern Japan are taking steps toward restarting a nuclear power plant. Workers have been loading fuel into one of the reactors. The plant will be the first to restart since the government introduced new regulations after the 2011 Fukushima disaster. Officials with Kyushu Electric Power Company say workers at the Sendai plant are using cranes to transfer more than 150 fuel rod units into the reactor. The number one reactor has been without any fuel for about two and a half years. The fuel rod units are being stored in a pool next to the building that houses the reactor. Workers will spend four days transferring the units into the reactor one by one. The officials say they will rotate workers so the operation can continue around the clock. And the fuel is being kept underwater to contain the radiation. The government plans to push forward with restarting nuclear plants that have satisfied the new guidelines in screenings by the Nuclear Regulation Authority. My feeling is that we've finally come this far toward the first restart under the new restrictions. Utility officials plan to restart the reactor in about a month after safety checks. The Sendai plant became the first to meet the government's new requirements. All of Japan's nuclear reactors are currently offline. The plan has drawn opposition from residents and anti-nuclear activists. A group of protesters gathered outside the plant to voice their opposition. <laughs> About 100 demonstrators took part in the rally. Some of them held signs saying fuel loading is the first step toward an accident. One person said what happened in Fukushima could happen at the Sendai plant. We can't just put aside the intense anger we feel. We urge the utility to stop the work immediately and give up on the restart. The protesters criticized officials at Kyushu Electric for being callous. They accused the utility of ignoring the public's desire for a society free from nuclear power. Residents of Kuchino Erabu, who had to leave the island after the eruption in May, have been back to see their homes, but their visit was cut short by volcanic earthquakes. The residents have been unable to go home since the island's Mount Shindake erupted. They're having a prolonged stay on the nearby island of Yakushima. I can't wait to go back. I want to do stuff, like taking care of my house. About 150 people arrived at the island on Tuesday morning. They were there to close window shutters and prepare their homes for a possible typhoon. But the group was ordered to leave one hour ahead of the scheduled departure after the meteorological agency absorbed 14 volcanic quakes in the space of an hour. What? After the meteorological agency absorbed 14 volcanic quakes in the space of an hour. 
What? Say what again? Say what again? I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Say what one more goddamn time. Authorities had earlier decided to cut short the trip if there were more than five of these quakes. What? Ezekiel 25, 17. The path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the inequities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. Blessed is he who in the name of charity and goodwill shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness, for he is truly his brother's keeper and the finder of lost children. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee. Japanese authorities have raised the volcanic alert level for a mountain in Kanagawa Prefecture, west of Tokyo. They say a very small eruption appears to have taken place on Mount Hakone and warned that the volcano could erupt again. Officials with the Meteorological Agency raised the alert level to three on a scale of five and are calling on people not to approach the mountain. The alert level had been at two. Officials say they've confirmed fresh layers of volcanic ash near a newly found vent in the valley. Authorities in Hakone have ordered people within a radius of one kilometer of the mountain to evacuate. There are residences, hotels, and a hot spring resort. Mount Hakone is a caldera volcano. The highest peak has an elevation of about 1,400 meters. Meteorological agency officials say a large volume of steam has been spewing from hot spring facilities at Oakudani Valley since last month. Researchers have recorded numerous earthquakes in the area since late April. They say they observed more than 300 earthquakes on Monday. On Tuesday morning, there were 180 more. Officials believe the last time Mount Hakone erupted was in the 12th or 13th century. Some shareholders of electric power utilities in Japan think the company should get out of the nuclear power business. However, their proposals were all rejected. Tokyo Electric Power Company and eight other utilities that operate nuclear plants held their annual shareholders' meetings on Thursday. All the companies faced shareholder proposals calling for decommissioning reactors or withdrawing from nuclear power generation. Shareholders of Kyushu Electric Power Company met as anti-nuclear campaigners protested nearby. The Nuclear Regulation Authority has confirmed that two reactors at the utility's Sendai plant meet regulations introduced after the 2011 Fukushima nuclear crisis. The firm plans to restart one of the facilities later this year. Kyushu Electric President Michiaki Uriyu said at the meeting that the, his firm aims to restart the reactor as soon as possible while ensuring safety as the utility's basic principle. Shareholder calls for withdrawing from nuclear power generation were also turned down at a meeting of Shikoku Electric Power Company and Kansai Electric Power Company. Japan's main governing party has punished some of its junior lawmakers. This comes after members of the opposition criticized a study meeting where participants called for measures to punish news media. Liberal Democratic Party Secretary General Sadakazu Tanigaki announced that he, the head of the party's youth division, will be removed from the position. Minoru Kihara will also be suspended from holding any other posts in the party for one year. Three other lower house members were reprimanded for their remarks at the meeting. Kihara is a lower house member and organized a study meeting of junior lawmakers on Thursday. Some participants expressed criticism of certain media for what they see as bias against the government. They reportedly said the best way to teach such media a lesson would be to deprive them of their advertising revenues. Others argue that public opinion in Okinawa is being warped by local newspapers and should be corrected. <laughs> Some of the comments appear to denigrate freedom of media and speech. 
Other comments significantly harmed the public's confidence in our party, which has worked for the people of Okinawa. This matter should not be passed over. Opposition parties intend to take up the matter in a lower house special committee that is discussing security bills. Democratic Party leader Katsuya Okada said the issue will not be settled by only dismissing the LDP youth division director. He said Prime Minister Shinzo Abe cannot pretend he was not involved as some of his aides also attended the study meeting. Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe says he is determined to push through security bills during the current Diet session. If enacted, the legislation would allow the country to exercise its right to collective self-defense under certain conditions. Abe spoke at the meeting of a lower house committee that is debating the bills. Opposition Democratic Party leader Katsuya Okada said the proposed legislation has neither the understanding nor the support of the public. There have been cases in which the public deepened their understanding of laws after they were enacted. We will make our own judgments when the legislature or its committees conclude that the issue has been thoroughly debated. Lawmakers from the ruling parties extended the current diet session until late September in a bit to make sure the bills go through. Some people in Japan have high hopes the talks will end with an agreement. They could tap into Iran's source of oil. Iran has the world's fourth largest crude oil reserve and the nation was once the main exporter to Japan until the U.S. and European nations placed sanctions. Leaders in Tokyo responded by pulling out of a development project at Azadagan, one of the largest oil deposits in the Middle East. Their counterparts in Tehran threatened to close the Strait of Hormuz, the world's most important route for crude shipments. The move drove oil prices in Japan up. But experts say resolving the nuclear issue could pave the way for Japanese firms to enter Iran's market. They say it boasts 78 million customers and many resources.